How y'all doing? I'm Deacon Epps at Mark Christian Ministries. We just thank you for allowing us to come to your house today. Join us for our women work today. Actually, we're open now. We're socially distanced. We have temperature checks. We have everything set up if you want to join us next week. Please do that. But at this time, join us for this word. God bless you. All labor. Amen. The gold, praise God. Whatever platform might be YouTube and you're, yes. you're, you're, you're watching us this morning, praise God. We want to know that we got a message for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And it's nothing like a great honor, praise God, of saying that, sharing that message that we're going to deliver to you with my lovely wife, Pastor T, this morning. Woo! This morning, Pastor T. Amen. And we, we just, I mean, I'm excited, praise God. And to all the ministers and amen, deacons and them and their wives in the house this morning, praise God. We honor you this morning. You, you, and you, amen. All of our visitors, praise God. Amen. Welcome to Mark Christian Ministry of yes. Jesus Christ, where God is making a mark for people alive that cannot be raised. Amen. You're looking for God to do something amazing in your life, amen. This is the place place to be. This is the spot, amen. As they say, praise God, hallelujah, amen. We gotta, we gotta um, also uh, just want to say we want to welcome you to the white table. Hallelujah. We want to welcome you to the white table, amen. The message is coming today from the white table, praise God. We want to welcome you to it, praise God. Our title today, amen, is we're gonna be talking about. Uh, still standing. Mm. Our title is Still Standing. Yeah. And we'll be coming from Ephesians chapter 6, verse 13 through 14, praise God. Still standing. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 13 through 14. Hallelujah. My wife and I, praise God, we've been in ministry for those of you who don't know. This is our 17th year anniversary. Mm -hmm. And we're still standing. Right? Yes, sir. <laughs> Through all the winds, amen, amen. Through all the winds, praise God, that, um, that blew our way, storms that came our way, praise God, hallelujah. Through it all, we're still standing. Thank you. And we hope, praise God, today that this message can help, amen, uh, some young pastor that, that, that that started their ministry, or uh, maybe, amen, someone just started their marriage. Right. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, someone just birthed a new child. Right. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, someone just started a new business, honey. Uh, we hope that this message helps someone today to help you just stand a little bit more. Yes. Because we want to warn you. <laughs> when you launch to start something, oh, there are going to be winds blow your way. Yes. Through the years, through the months, there are going to be storms come your way. Yes. And we are witness, praise God, that we know that you're able to stand through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We're going to read to you uh, Ephesians chapter 6, starting at the third, uh, uh, verse 13 through 14, coming from the King James Version. It says, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil days. How I many of you know we're in the, the evil days? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. And having done all, yes. everything, praise God, you possibly can do right. with your own might. Right. <laughs> Hallelujah. When you've done all you can do with your own might, yes. Yes. then it comes a time that you have to depend on the Lord's might. Yes. Right. Yes. Come on here, somebody. Amen. He said, when well, you've done all, oh, oh, oh. Mm, on. not some, yes. when you've done everything, when you've done all, yeah. he says to stand. Yes. Stand on what? The word of God. Right. Stand where? Right. Word. Come on here, somebody. Right. To stand on the word of God and to stand where? In the house of God. Hallelujah. <laughs> right. I'm not leaving the house of God. Not in these evil days. Right. Not in this time. But when you've done everything you've done, when you've done everything, he says to stand. And he says, stand therefore. I love it when he says stand therefore. Stand therefore. Stand where? Where you at? Hallelujah. Amen. Stand where? Uh, where? Where you at? Right. Stand for what? What you believe in. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. That's right. Yes. God has given you a vision. Stand on it. Amen. Absolutely. Yes. 
The enemy want to come and take your vision. Yes. Yes, take your hope. The enemy will come to you and say, your vision ain't going to come to pass. Come on. That's him. So true. Man. When God has shown you your dream, stand on it. Yeah. No matter what comes. Yeah. So Hallelujah. Yes, sir. You got to stand. That's good. You got to believe. Yes. Hallelujah. Right. Yes. Glory to God. My God. He says here, stand therefore, having your lawns gird about with truth. And having on the breastplate of righteousness. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Having the breastplate of of righteousness. righteousness. Come on, give God some praise for his word. Yeah. Our, 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 our media team is, is putting up a picture here showing you a soldier. How I many you know we're in the army of the Lord? Amen. Praise God. If you're not in the army of the Lord, we welcome you to join us. <laughs> you can sign up today. In fact, at the end of this message, I'm going to give you an opportunity to sign up to be in the army of the Lord. Because you cannot lose in the army of the Lord. Oh, right. And you got to have confidence yes. Yes, in the army of the Lord. Yes, Come on. And you got to be able to stand. Come it is on. amazing to me how all the soldiers that stood in front of Goliath mm. not really knowing who army they was in. Come on. Yes, sir. It took a little boy Come on. Yeah. with wisdom to say, who is this uncircumcised right. fellow yeah. that's coming up against the army of the Lord? Right. Yeah. How many you know that you're in the army of the Lord? Yes. Yes. And if you're in the army of the Lord and the Lord is on your side, you're going to win every battle. Yeah. Listen to me. When it seems like you're losing, you're winning. I said, when it seems like you're losing some battles, you are actually winning because the Bible said in Romans 8, 28, all things working together for your good. So sometimes when it seems like you're losing or seems like you got to retreat, a setback is for a comeback. And every battle, God is teaching you. Ooh, that's good. It's amazing, praise God, that you can be winning and learning at the same time. Wow. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. You can be going through stuff and going through passages and going through tunnels. Mm. All at the same time, God is teaching you My and giving you wisdom. Right. Why? Because he's good like that. Right. Right. <laughs> he's bad on the good like that. Right. And he has a wisdom that he want to give you. Absolutely. You understand? To help you, not only with the battle you're in, right. but to strengthen you and help you for the battles to come. come on, this right. The battle you may be going through right now is yeah. not just for today, come but on. it's for tomorrow yeah. too. Yeah. And I'm yeah. helping somebody to tell you. Yes. God That's trying to help good. somebody to stand. Yes, and when sir. you've done everything, Stand. Hallelujah. In fact, that's when God will come in. Yes, come sir. Yourself. When you're weak, yes, sir. that's when he's strong. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. As long as you, you're strong with God's strength, you, you, you're winning. You're winning every battle. But sometimes God will wait for a moment to seem like, uh-oh, you're dropping your arm. Hallelujah. Come on. Seem like you're losing the battle. Yeah. Seem like yeah. the enemy is getting more, gaining, gaining more ground on you. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. And at that moment, Jesus. hallelujah. Glory. Jesus. God is talking to somebody on, today. I'm yeah. to watch you today Glory. that God is talking to. And, and God is saying, you're trying to do everything by yourself. Right. Oh, God. Amen. And God is saying, okay, since you want to do it by yourself, okay, I'm going to take my hand off to the situation. Mm. Yeah. And I'm going to wait. Come out. Jesus. And I'm going to wait. Jesus. Uh, oh, God. Yes, and I'm going to wait until you get to your weak spot. Right. Yeah. Come out. Oh, and then you're going to know that I am God. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> then I'm going to show up in your life and show you that I am the Lord. And besides me. Come out. Yeah. Mm, Come on. Besides Come on. me. Come on. There is no other God. 
Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so today, I think I'm preaching already. I, 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 we, we got six points that we want to talk to you about. Six points we want to hear that we want to talk to you about that hopefully this will strengthen your life, strengthen your relationship, strengthen your ministries. Yes. Pastors, praise God, we want to talk to you today. Because, amen, as many of you out there are going through battles right now. Yes. yes. Sheep are, are, are seem like diminishing, mm -hmm. leaving. The churches seem like not coming back. Absolutely. But God wants you to know, praise God, it's just a setback for a comeback. Oh, I believe yeah. in these dark days, God is about to do something amazing. Right. Y'all yes. yes. right. hear me today. Right. Hallelujah. I believe God is about to do something. We're going to see miracles again. Hallelujah. God. I'll take oh, that. Me, hold on, hold on. <laughs> We're about to see the blind see again. Hey. We're about to see people get up. Oh, get up out of wheelchairs yeah. in this seat. Y'all ain't hear me. Hallelujah. Oh, We're about to see hands that's withered oh. get stretched for old. Oh, we about to see the dead rise again yes. in this season. Yes. How do you know that, Bishop? Yes. Because it is dark. Yes. 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 This is an evil day. Yes. And yes. Jesus always appears in a dark oh, moment. Miracles yes. always happen yes. in a dark moment. Yes. When a person cannot see, it's a dark moment. Yes. And that's when Jesus will spit on the ground. Yes. Take the dirt. Put over your eyes so you make the dirt. Right, God, let's talk about the dirt. The dirt is the thing, praise God, that people are ostracizing you, talking about you. Use that dirt. Put it over your eyes and see what God is trying to tell you. I'm talking to somebody today. Use the dirt and put it over your eyes so you can see clearly. That's good. You're able to see now who really love you. Y'all ain't here. You're able to see now who really care for you. You're able to see now who really trying to help you. All right, God. So what God does sometimes, honey, he allow things to get so dark yes, and the earth to have so much evil yes, and then sir. God will show his glory. Mm -hmm. yeah. You understand? The glory is magnified or uh, magnified through darkness. Yeah. Right, when God. Jesus come back, the whole earth gonna be dark. Yeah. There's gonna be so much evil, so much darkness in the earth, and then poof, there's the Lord. Yeah. yeah. Magnified in his glory. Glory. Are y'all hearing me? Thank you, God. Hallelujah. My when God. Jesus gave up the ghost, darkness covered the whole earth. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you. When he said it is finished, mm. darkness covered the whole earth. Glory. Because darkness knew it could not be defeat the law. Hallelujah. That's why the Bible says darkness can't comprehend the light. No, sir. Because the light is so glory. God is trying to get us in his glory. Hallelujah. I hope somebody listening to you. God is trying to get us to his glory. And watch this. Watch this. Darkness propel you to it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, tonight. Sometimes it's good for the bad to show up. Because the real bad really gonna show up. Thank you. Thank you. He's bad, y'all. He's good. bad to the bone. What you say, honey? That is so good, Bishop. You know, after uh, 17 years of ministry, uh, 26 years of being in a relationship of those 26 years, 24 years of being husband and wife, we were at a, a event yesterday and a young man yeah. asked, what does it take to succeed? And of course we said, Jesus, it has to be Christ in the middle. And then the other thing is gonna take is determination. Yes. You have to have, I'm not gonna give up. Yeah, Come man. what may, hallelujah. Amen. I preached a message called, oh well, Amen. oh well, me and the woman with the issue of blood. I mean, the woman at the well, she came to the well, the Samaritan women, woman, hallelujah. Even though she had been with many men, hallelujah, she came just as she was. You're going to have to come to Jesus. You're going to have to face Jesus. You're going to have to put yourself behind Amen. people. Hallelujah. They say at this particular well, 
that the women came and joined and gathered, but on this particular day, she came by herself. You have to have an oh well in your spirit. Amen. Even though things don't go your way, oh well, I still trust God. At yeah. the end of the day, hallelujah, you're going to have to have an oh well in your spirit. Yes. Back to Ephesians 6 and 13, it says, Wherefore, take unto the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil days. How many of you know we right here in the evil days right now? Right now as we speak. Hallelujah. We got families against each other. We got siblings against each other. We got people who don't even respect government authority. We got children that will curse you out. How many know we in the evil days right now? Hallelujah. God is letting us know that we are going to face some things. And we are, we are to get ready Amen. now. Yes. Whatever you face, God has prepared you for this. Not only has he prepared you, he has equipped you. As we break down this particular passage together, in the particular uh, sentence, it says, If you haven't done all to do, stand. Amen. Now, once you get into this fight, there's going to come a time when you're going to look to your left, you're going to look to your right. Amen. You're not going to know which way to turn. But in that particular stand, God is saying, I said stand. Stand yeah. means don't move. In the name oh, of good. Jesus. That's when good. the enemy came, hallelujah, in all these years, yeah. and, and they thought they were going to possess the space we had. Amen. And I said, God, what are we going to do now? God said, stand still and know that I'm God. Yeah. When I stood still, when we stood still, Amen. that's when God came in. He wrote his name. 28, he worked everything out for our good. Amen. He touched the heart of Pharaoh, which in that case was the landlord, to come down to where we can maintain. Come on, God Amen. is a good God. And yeah. then he goes on to say, be still and know. What is God saying about be still and know? He's saying, recognize and understand Amen. that I am God. Amen. Come on, this is not something that you can do on your own. Amen. I am God. I will be exhorted among the nations, I am God. Yes. We must understand that sometimes in ministry, you're going to feel like quitting. You're going to feel like giving up. Even Amen. in your marriage, oh, you're going to feel like quitting. Hallelujah. Yes. But if yes. you have the mentality to stand still and know that he's God, Amen. I know this particular uh, theme this week was still standing. Amen. But if you flip still standing, it says stand still. We have to stand still. Amen. We can't be so quick to move. We got to stand still. We need to let God show us that he is God. Amen. God is saying, I will stand by them and defend them against all enemies. Amen. All enemies. That's Hallelujah. Good. Including yourself. That's good. Sometimes you can be That's your good. own enemy. Amen. I remember, hallelujah, when the situation took place. I thought I'm going to go out there. I'm going to start this. Come on, I'm yes. going to help God. I'm going to do this. Hallelujah. God don't need our help. Amen. Come on, everything put together for our good. Amen. I don't care what it looks like right now. All we need to do is stand still and know that he, he's God. Yes, so God yes. is saying, back off. I am Lord. I am powerful. I am in charge. Amen. And I will fight for you. Yeah. As Bishop was saying earlier, God formed the world in six days, and on the seventh day, he rested. Why? Because he had done all that he can do. Amen. And that's what we must have the mentality. When you can't do it anymore, the word of God said, he'll put no more on us we can bear. So when you're in the midst of a crisis, when you're going through something, and you cannot handle it, you cannot bear it no more, let me tell you what you do. You get that thing right over to God. Come on. You get that thing right over to God. Say, okay, God, this is too big for me. This, this must be you. Amen. You must be getting, to get ready to work, make Amen. a miracle. Amen. You must be going to show the world that you are God. Because this is too big for me. Amen. 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 He has done all that there was to do, and now he has rested. This is the time when he's able to allow the glory of God and his manifestation to come forth. We have got to learn how to stand still. Amen. So I have a direct command from God today. He says, stop futile efforts in dealing with things that are his domain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> stop trying to deal That's with good. things that is his domain. Amen. Come on, he's already working out for us. Amen. We don't have to worry about who come and go, who yeah. remains to stay. Come on, he has already worked out. If we are the children of God, if we are the inheritors of God, Amen. we don't have to worry about because the Bible says when an enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of God will raise up a standard. So we must stand. We must stand the Word of God. We must know that we serve a mighty God. We must know in the name of 
at certain levels uh, that's that's really battles that belongs to corporate. Exactly. <laughs> when you're in the mi middle room Come trying on, to fight Jesus. a corporate on, battle. Amen. Amen. And so when the Lord says, amen, that the battle is not yours, it's amen. the Lord, God is saying, leave it to corporate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> corporate don't work this I love that, Bishop. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you that the corporate. You're not on the level. So some things you need to just take the corporate. That's good. Let us get to principle one, praise God. Principle one says, um, it, it's, uh, I want to give to you for those of you that are writing this, is uh, the, uh, the helmet of salvation. Oh. Put on the yeah. helmet of salvation. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says in Proverbs 23 and 7 says, For as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Oh. Right, Bishop. So Amen. as a man thinketh. The, the first attack with the Hallelujah. enemy attack you with is in your mind. In your mind. Yeah. Real. Yes, the sir. biggest battle that you'll ever have is in your mind. Yes, you understand? When the enemy began to attack Eve, he began to attack her in her mind. Yes. That's what right, God Bishop. said. Hallelujah. Did God really say that? Yes. So the enemy want to do is get you doubting God. Yes, because sir. the moment he gets you doubting God, then you lose faith in God. Y'all yes, ain't Hallelujah. hearing me. Come on. And faith without works, we know, yes, you, you, you at a standstill, yes, not yes. moving, not accomplishing, mm -hmm. not starting a business. Yes, right. So many people have a lot of uh, dreams of hope that yes, one day. One day. Yeah. <laughs> but that one day can Come start on. today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can start it right, right now. now. Yeah. 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 Amen. So, 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 so the biggest battle yeah. is in your mind. Uh, uh, you, 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 oh, God, this is good. Yeah. This is good. If God's word said, that settles it. Mm. Come on. Case told. Yes, sir. If God's word said, that settles it. Yeah. Case, case is closed. Glory to God. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, sir. You cannot debate what God said. Come on. Mm. That's good. Too many people be debating what God said. Mm. Yeah. The moment you get in a debate, see, that's what it was. It was a debate going on mm. with Eve and Satan. Yeah. You understand? And so once you get in a debate on God's word, you're going to lose that battle. Yeah. You have to believe what God said. When the yeah. when listen, temptation, you know what temptation is? Temptation is to get you to doubt in your mind. Absolutely. Yeah. Temptation to get is to yeah. try to get you in a debate. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. Should I do this right. or should I not? Right. Oh, glory to God. Mm -hmm. That's should, 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 I, should I violate my marriage right. or should I not? Right. Uh-huh. Should I leave this job or should I listen, listen, listen. The, over 30 years of working on my job. Yes, sir. You know how many times the enemy tried to get me to debate, should I leave or not? My God. You know how many times the enemy have the winds of the enemy have came to yeah. try to push me out of my job? Right. But I stood. Oh, my God. And I stood still. Yeah. Hallelujah. And when I stood and stood and see, I was able to see the salvation of the Lord. The enemy always going to try to come and push you out of your dream come on, and out of your vision. Yeah. But you have to say, it is written. It is written. Uh, the temptation of Jesus.
Jesus in Mark, Matthew chapter oh, 4 God. was a truck was them trying to debate with Jesus. Jesus. But Jesus said it is written. On, you have God. to know what is written. Right. Yes. If Eve would have just said what God said, right. Jesus. Jesus. she would have won that battle. Amen. But because she got into a debate, mm. it caused a doubt in her mind. Right. And that caused her to get the fruit right. yes. that God told her. I wonder how many people got fruits Come on, and eaten of fruit that God told you to not eat of. Come on. God told you don't touch them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, Bishop. Everybody ain't walking in a blessing that seemed to be a blessing, y'all. Oh, yeah. oh, that's, that's real good. good. That's yeah. real. Preach. It's a burden. Come on here, somebody. That's so true. It's a burden. But I want the Lord's birth, uh, blessing in my life. Yes. yes. Absolutely. Hallelujah. Absolutely. I say I want, my somebody God. say that's a burden. I want God's blessing yes, over burden. Come on, Bishop. Why take a burden when you can take a blessing? Because when you get God's blessing, they ain't gonna repossess the car, they can't come get the house, ain't got to worry about the credit card, ain't got to worry about my credit. Y'all ain't hearing me. My God, that's something I'm preaching. Because the Bible said the blessing of the Lord make it rich. Yeah, it had. It had. No I'm glad about my blessing. I'm not sorrowful. I'm, I'm not feeling some other kind of way. Y'all ain't hearing me. Because when God comes through you and bless you, yeah, real when good. God opens doors, no man no can shut. No man can no Hallelujah. I say no man can shut. No man. No, sir. The only one can, can shed it is you. Right, Jesus. The only one can shed it is, is God. Oh, uh, God uh, talking Jesus. to me this day. You better tell yourself you're going to live and not die. Uh -huh. Somebody uh -huh. might have COVID right hey. now. You better open your mouth and say it is written. It is written. By his stripes, I am healed. What are you saying? Jesus. My God. Don't be believing what the enemy trying to put in your mind. Yes, yes. Oh, you're going to die today. Jesus. COVID got you. The devil on, is a liar. Yeah. God said it is written. Right. You are healed by his yeah. stripes. Yeah. How many of you believe that today? Yeah. How many of you watching me believe in this word today? Hallelujah. You better stand. Hallelujah. Stand on God's word. Yes. Hallelujah. Stand on God's word. I'm standing today, honey. For 17 years, we stood on it. I know it works. Don't let the enemy tell you in your mind it don't work. I am a witness. Paul said, I'm persuaded. I am persuaded that I know his God. His word works. I know his word works. Jesus. I've tried it in the word. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. You got to have confidence yeah. that God's word works. You have to have confidence that you're going to be the head and not the tail. Oh, you're going to be above and not beneath. You got to have confidence in God's word. Why? Because it is written. Yeah. Yeah. Prove it. Don't let the enemy tell you something that's not written. Come on. It is written. Absolutely. Hallelujah. How many of you believe that today? Amen. We stand in the day. How many of you going to stand with us today? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 10, 13, there has no temptation mm. taken you but such as common to man. Hallelujah. But God Come is up. faithful. Yes. Y'all yeah, yeah, yeah. ought to say that. But God, God. is faithful. That means that God's hand is not changing. My God. God's hand is not fluctuating. On, he'll say what he say yes. and mean what he means. Yes. He'll do what he'll do. Yes. Y'all know what I'm talking to somebody today. God is faithful. Come he'll on. show up when he say he'll show up. Yeah, yeah. He'll heal you when he say he'll heal you. Jesus. He'll bless you when he say he'll bless you. Come Come on. On. I'm talking to somebody Come today. On. God is faithful. Faithful. Yes. Consistent. Man might not be faithful, but God is faithful. God is faithful. Hallelujah. That's good. The word faithful means steady. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all know that's a rock. Steady. 
Y'all remember that song? God is steady. Come on. That means when, when God began to rock yeah. with you, oh God, Jesus. he's faithful to it. Yeah, on beat. Hallelujah. He's on yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. His rhythm is, oh God. Jesus. His rhythm is on time. Yes, God sir. is faith. That's so good. I love that when it says yeah. God is. That means he'll say what he said and mean what he said. Yeah, yeah, if he yeah. say he's going to do it, he'll do it. Yeah. He's faithful to it. I know some of you have had some relationships where he wasn't faithful Jesus. or she wasn't faithful, but I come to tell you, God is faithful. He's faithful. He's faithful. What a word, what a word from God today. Thank you for joining us today. Yes, Bishop, that word was powerful. That word was edifying. That word was life changing. We pray that the word will make a mark in your life that can never ever be erased. Please come join us next Sunday here at our campus in Lehigh Acres, Florida. I'm Bishop Leon Mark. And I'm First Lady Minister Tawana Mark. God bless you.